Hi, this is Homebody Rundown, and in this video I'm going to show the areas of the house that I've decorated for early fall. I don't do too much, because I'll be adding in the Halloween decorations soon. I've gotten rid of a lot of decor as the kids have gotten older. We used to have more fun and silly stuff. My strategy this year is to keep it simple and just set some pumpkins around. I did pick up a few new things recently. I won't put this plate out until a bit closer to Halloween, but I just thought it was so adorable. It's from Kirkland's and was $7.99. I did ask if they had it in a larger size, but they said this was the only size available. These candlesticks were also from Kirkland's. I'm not sure on the metal, but they are hefty. The shorter one is $14.99 and the tall is $16.99. I think these have a classic look and I'll probably use them year round. Also, gotta say that I was pleasantly surprised at how easily these stickers came off the candlesticks. These gray candles are from Home Goods. There are six in the box, and the price was $7.99. I think this candle color works for neutral fall and Halloween. Okay, so I probably should have measured the height here before buying the candles. It's cutting it pretty close. Started pulling pumpkins out of the fall tote and realized I had a bit of a problem. It's so many pumpkins and so many colors. I'm going to try to paint this one. I like the shape, but not the color. It was $6.99 at TJ Maxx. This one is new, $6.99 from Hobby Lobby. Also new, $6.99 TJ Maxx. I really like the terracotta look of this one. It doesn't have a sticker, but I'm pretty sure it was less than $10 at Home Goods. I was looking at all these colors and wondering why on earth I've picked such a variety. Then I looked up at all the maps we have around the house. Most are Old National Geographic style with a lot of similar colors to these pumpkins. Maybe I need to get new things to look at. Good grief, I found a bag on the floor with another pumpkin. At least it's a more soothing color. $14.99 at Home Goods. So I decided I'm going to get rid of these. If I buy more, I need to make sure to stay within a more narrow color scheme. I think individually they look pretty at the store, but I wasn't seeing them all together. Here in the living room, keeping it simple, now it's fall. Also very basic on the piano, just added two pumpkins here. Now we're in the dining room. This is what I've had on this cabinet all summer. This is from my in-laws, they spent some time in Pakistan. This is missing a gong and hammer, but I think it's really pretty as is. I also like the shape of this vase. It does have a design on one side, but I usually have it on the plain side. This jar was in my great grandma's house. It looks like terracotta, but someone had painted it black. I really love the pattern on this woven piece. The size is also fantastic. I picked it up for $10 at a local antique shop. This planter wasn't a good buy. I picked it up from Walmart. I wanted to hang a plant in front of the bathroom window. But once it was full of dirt, it was just way too heavy. Okay, trying the yellow pumpkin here. We'll see. I always change my mind. Over here, the plants need some work. For as little light as they get though, they're doing pretty well. And after I figure out placement, they do need some water. This majestic guy over here is a very heavy gazelle. 
He is also another antique store find. I named him Frank. Obviously, Frank stays out most of the year, but I think it's time for a little break, at least until after Halloween. This one is a jack-o'-lantern, so we're just going to keep him turned around until a more appropriate time. Adding in a purple pumpkin. There are some shades of purple in the main painting I have hanging here. All right, already moving this around. It may take a while. I think this group looks nice together and coordinates with the painting above. Dig out this old silver basket to fit this narrow shelf space. I really think some ferns would make a huge difference up here, would really fill it in. Yeah, I'm going to change this for sure. I have to keep working at it until it just feels right. Really though, I think a lot of our house is already a fall look. This desk area had this primitive tray painting and black teapot here all summer, and I think it'll work just fine for fall. I love the colors on this teapot. It is broken, so it's only for decoration now. Now to the laundry room. Youngest child took that photo, so it'll stay. But over here are photos of some of my favorite irises from my grandma's place. You may recognize these frames from the Dollar Tree about 10 years ago. Anyway, this iris is my favorite. But I have a set of decorations from one of my other grandmothers. These metal leaves were originally gold, I think. So I spray painted them a bronze color. And if you're thinking, wow, those look like they could easily be knocked down, you're absolutely correct. But they look cute and remind me of grandma, so here they'll stay and occasionally fall. Here is a great find from the Goodwill. Got this vase for $4. I love the beading detail and scalloped edge. It's so pretty. Cleaned up the vase and added in this dried lavender, which I bought from a local lavender farm. Put it up here in the kitchen to help hide some wires, but I think it looks good with the orange pumpkins. Now I'm trying to figure out the top of the buffet. I think all these pumpkin colors reflect those in the artwork, but it's just too much of a rainbow. I moved the drying sedum into this old box, and I do really like this. However, they are dropping little bits everywhere. Not sure if they're toxic, but I won't be putting food here. So I've decided to repaint some of the pumpkins instead of getting rid of them. I picked out some spray paint colors at Menards. It's a big home improvement store in the Midwest. Not a lot of orange options. Some of these have a very glossy finish, so I'm not sure how well the spray paint will stick. The duller ones should be fine. Oh my goodness. This was just so very orange. The sage green color is really pretty. And I also like this heirloom white. Some of the pumpkins I decided to hand paint with acrylics I had. I did, however, pick up a new orange color at Walmart. The acrylics did not coat or adhere as well as spray paint. This was the spray color, and now I'm going to add a coat of the new Waverly chalk paint. This is how it looks on the unpainted pumpkin from Target. The stem on this one has been very time consuming, and this will need a couple coats. I wanted to spray some gloss finish on the hand-painted pumpkins to help the paint stay on. But these guys showed up to hang out, so I needed to wait. 
I doubt they'd like the smell. Okay, they moved along, so trying this random enamel I found in the basement. And just to know, I am not a professional. Some of these pumpkins may now be very dangerous to have near open flames. So, make sure to do your research. Here is what I've finished so far. Still not sure on the orange. It's very bright. It'll be great for Halloween, though. But overall, I'm much happier with fewer colors. And now the redone buffet space, it feels much calmer. I'm still hoping to find some small ferns to fill in the empty areas on each side of the painting. Finally, I added in a couple pieces of pottery on this side. Overall, my put a few pumpkins around strategy was not successful. I really should not buy items without trying them in the space right away. Lesson learned, and I think next year should go much easier. Thanks for watching.